Good day everyone! Today I'm going to discuss to you the triangles. Triangles are polygon formed by three segments joining three non-collinear points. So, a three-sided polygon in other words. So, triangles are named according to their sides. We have Iskalin triangle. When we say Iskalin triangle, no equal sides are congruent or no equal sides are equal. If you notice that we have different length in our sides, so they are not congruent any of the sides. So it can be six, seven, or it can be twelve. So those sides are equal. Next will be equilateral triangle. When we say equilateral, equi means equal, lateral means sides. That means all the sides are congruent or all the sides are equal. Next is the isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle, that means the two legs, these are equal the legs or leg. The two legs are equal. In isosceles triangle also, the bases of the angles are equal. Next, according to the number of angles, or the according to angles, if or if all our angles are acute, when we say acute less than 90 degrees that is that is what we call acute triangle so all the measure of the angles are acute of course the sum total of the angles in our triangle is equal to 180 we also have obtuse triangle Obtuse triangle, if one angle in our triangle is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 and so we call the obtuse triangle. We also have the right triangle. Right triangle, if one angle of our triangle is equal to 90 degrees, we have the perpendicular line here. And opposite the perpendicular is what we call the hypotenuse. And this is our legs. And we have the equiangular triangle. Equi means equal, angular means angle. So equal angles. Example is 60, 60, 60. So you will also encounter the word. You will also encounter the theorem. Exterior angle theorem. The theorem states that. The measure of an angle, exterior, uh, you will also encounter the exterior angle theorem. It states that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of its two remote interior angles. So we have here exterior angle and the two remote interior angle so means in order for you to get the exterior angle there must be two given angle which are remote interior angles so let's say number one find x given this triangle this is x that is the unknown we're going to get the value of that then we have 95 another given so these two angles are the remote interior angle and we have 138 that is the exterior angle so following our exterior angle the measure of the exterior angle which is 138 is equal to the sum of the measure of the 
remote interior. So, x plus 95. Now, we need to get the value of x. So, 138 minus 95 is equal to x. Now, subtract. 138 minus 95. That would be the value of our x. So 138 minus 95. So 8 minus 5, that is 3. 13 minus 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 4. So 43 will be our x. 43 degrees. Next. Second example, number two. Again, solve for x. We have the following event. We have our triangle here. Then, exterior angle to x plus 15, uh, 115. And another exterior angle to 70 degrees. And we have here 5x, our interior angle. In our theorem, we need two remote interior angles. In this case, we only have 5x. But take note, we have another given here, 70 degrees. Following our vertical angle theorem, if this is 70, this angle is also 70 degrees. Now we have two given. Okay? We can now get our equation 2x plus 115 is equal to their sum. 5x plus 70. Now we have 115 minus 70 is equal to 5x minus 2x. Okay, so 115 minus 70, that is 45 is equal to 5x minus 2x, that is 3x. Divide by 3 to get the value of x. 45 divided by 3, that is 15. So x is equal to 15. So that is the exterior angle theorem. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.